Hi, I'm Evan Thomas, author of The War Lovers, Roosevelt, Lodge, Hearst, and the Rush to Empire, 1898. Hello to all you Borders readers. The Iraq War, does the Iraq War and the War Lovers, do they have anything in common? Yes, they do. Uh, obviously, this was a war of choice. I, when I was covering the Iraq War for Newsweek, I began thinking about wars of choice and wars that the country didn't necessarily have to fight. But, you know, you can overdo these comparisons. Uh, it's, it's history on its own. It was an amazing period uh, at the end of the 19th century. It's not the early 21st century, it was, uh, but it was a fantastic time and a lot of fun to write about. Does Teddy Roosevelt have a modern counterpart? I don't think Teddy Roosevelt has any counterpart ever. I mean, he was one of a kind. Nonetheless, a kind of aggressive, macho president. There's a little bit of George Bush. I know George Bush fancied himself to be a bit of a Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, Certainly, uh, William Randolph Hearst, the, uh, the amazing tycoon publisher, uh, you know, maybe a little bit Roger Ailes, the head of Fox News, but Roger Ailes, it was a different period. Te it, it, Hearst actually went to war. He, he got on a horse and went to the battle. He got on his yacht and he went to a naval battle. I don't think you could do that today. Was Teddy Roosevelt a racist? He probably was, but so was everybody in his position at the end of the uh, 1890s. It was just the uh, American upper class believed that the Anglo-Saxon ruled and, and should rule, so he was not uncommon that way. Uh, I think you can overdo these things in the sense that you have to accept people the way they were at the time. A lot of what he said is reprehensible, but he was beginning to think about equality between the races. He didn't get very far, but he was beginning to think about it. Uh, my favorite history book of all time is The Rise of Theodore Roosevelt by Edmund Morris. Uh, just a wonderful book and helped inspire me. And yes, by all means, I'll be reading the third volume of his sequel, uh, Colonel Roosevelt. Uh, Morris really has Teddy Roosevelt down. He's a little bit more favorable to him than maybe I am, but he sure tells a great tale.